So tonight, uh, we've got 10 selected guests with us from uh, our readership at the National. We've put the brand new Fuji X100S in their hands with uh, help from the fine folks at Fuji Middle East. And we put them out into this neighborhood for an hour of street photography to see what they get using the camera. Uh, yeah, so today, you know, we focus on the uh, street photography. So I think, you know, the, our camera uh, perfectly fits in there, you know, the style. And, you know, I hope everybody, you know, learn a lot and, you know, expand their photography style as well. I've shot this neighborhood before with my X100, the original one, as well as the uh, X-Pro. These cameras really excel in low lighting conditions. The, uh, you, know, you shoot them at 3200 ISO, it's really clean, picks up a lot of light. Um, they're very handy, they're very small, ergonomic, and it's very stealthy. It's like an invisibility cloak. You can walk up to people and they don't get nervous because you've got a big camera in their face. Um, it's also silent. I just took a picture, just took another picture. So. It's an excellent camera and it kind of changed my world because now I don't even own a DSLR, I just own these. The X100? I've never used it before, I've heard of it. Um, I didn't realize that it was as silent as it was. I mean, it's, it's, it really does, it makes you invisible. Um, I mean, I think there's a few drawbacks with the mirrorless, but that's to be expected from any mirrorless camera. But I think um, as far as from the mirrorless cameras I use, it's the best one I've had thus far. I've tried street photography only during the day before, which is why uh, doing it at night, I was a bit uh, like, how's it going to work out, you know? But, but uh, the camera performed really well in low light, and um, that was a real shocker. We had amazing uh, work turned into us by the photographers that went out with the camera, uh, especially considering the fact that they had not used this camera before and had one hour out in a neighborhood that most of them I don't think had shot in before. I'm really surprised. I mean, a lot of the pictures when I saw the, 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 the slideshow, I was amazed at how many great um, pictures people were able to produce in such a short period of time and, you know, having never used the camera for some of them. So, um, yeah, I was really pleased. I was a little surprised and, uh, yeah, very happy, of course. Uh, the winning photo is a bit of a surprise given that I was the uh, person uh, doing the final selection in that I'm not necessarily a huge fan of portraits, but I just love this photo. I feel like this man is looking right at me, right into my soul. It's got a nice little touch of lens flare coming from the light in the background, and it gives it a little extra depth. Um, it really shows off what the camera can do as well. It uh, has beautiful tones, and um, it's just incredibly sharp. You know, I love taking pictures of people. Um, so for me, it was just, you know, being able to make sure that I got him not looking straight in the camera, but, you know, having some, a little bit of background in the back so that I didn't just have his face. Um, and, um, yeah, because the camera doesn't have a zoom, you really have to step in there. So I was actually wanting to take the picture quickly because obviously I was very close to him in his face. So, you know, yeah. That's it. Did that make sense? Do you want to buy the camera now? I don't even, I work for the newspaper. I don't, I'm not even trying to sell the thing. It's just... Fuji gave us a bunch of these for the evening to try out. I think so. it's a nice camera. It's huh? beautiful, man. You need one of these.